can do the same way we do it the last time. Right. So they should have run the rest of your pipes before they put the floor down. They run all their pipes, only see one little drain pipe. Yeah, that, 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 that's all I wanted. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, come. Yeah, come God, I was trying to work with the light. You know, five o'clock things just go down. So now we're going that way. side. What side? Start out, same thing we did before. Go on that side. You don't work from the front of the hive because they come in it. You always work from the side, the back or the side. Okay, now. Um, lift the, lift the, Remember the handles on the door? You can lift it easier. What's happening here? See a lot of ants, I see some ants in there. I left my brush out. That should be okay. It'll be smelling a little bit of smoke. Let's start from the tree through the back side of from like number five or so. Do you rest up? Yeah. Start from like number five or so. Let's see what's going on. I gotta put some bait down. Alright. Pull it, don't put it back. Remember, we need some space. Rest it to the side. Take up a tree and just rest it to the side. Out of the way, because you're going backward. Yeah. Go backward, six. Yeah, you can rest it on one or two if you need to. Just one of you. Remember that one I had an existing cone on, so that ain't the one they make. Mm -hmm. They look like they're trying to work that, so that's cool. Yeah, we can slide forward the rest now. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing on them three. Just lift them up the way so we get more new in space. Push 10 back. Push 10 all the way back. Remember, Rev, when you, your bees started, your bees, you had nothing in here. Just bees. Everything in there, they built. In a short period of time. And if it's too tight, you got to use the knife to cut it. Yeah, you got to cry a little bit. Put a little grass out of here. Let's take you see. What number on that? Because I could keep it log at this. Twelve. Twelve. You don't see the queen by no chance, right? Mm. See, even without the smoke, we wanted a very, very gentle hive. Now, my only concern though is you see, you ready to get honey on that? See, honey? But these cells are so close, it, they draw the frame onto that. So. Let me put that back. Let's rotate like 11 and 12. To give them space for popping in. Yeah, I don't want them to do too much with that. Queen shouldn't be on the honey one. So rest that, push it close to 11. We have a, a vacant one we could pull up because I really want to see in the good. Mm -hmm. Alright, crack it with the knife again. The reason why a knife long is sometimes you may have to put the knife in and slice the whole thing clear. So just feel it as you go. Push it away before you push it up. Push it up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Where have you got honey? How'd it feel? How'd the weight of it feel? A little weight, but it ain't that, that thing. It ain't totally capital. Yeah. Okay. I'm seeing. See them, them banchang right there? I don't know if you see, if you see it. Wait. It's definitely capital. Right? Feel it, go feel the weight of it, Rev. Feel it. Oh, you see where them two screws are? Okay. And you can probably pull pull the rest out so you can get a feel. Let me go just a little for me. Most of these ants and stuff, the bees can take care of problems coming in themselves. Basically, you technically you're ready, you're ready in honey production. We need some healthy brood. So when you rest that one in, you get the feel of resting. Yeah. Sense that that little, that little shot. Let's pull out another one. Do the same thing with the knife. And pull out another one. They should get a little heavier as you go. Yeah. Just give it a little crack, twist it so it comes apart. Yeah. Then slide it, grab the two ends and slide it, slide it forward. Because the bees are sometimes hold it together. Slide it forward, yeah, and then lift it up. Wow. That's cap. If that is brood, then that means this, this hive really, really exploding good. You gotta get the shot there. Uh, for the record, that's number what, 14? So after she built brood, like these ones in the back, she capping the brood, that means she laying egg and that healthy. So soon the rest of them forward could just be just pure honey. You know the front ones with honey? Because these first sets she do, she done build brood. That's the engine of the hive. That means more bees can just, she can just make more bees, make more bees. So we just checking the, high, the health of it. We can pull, pull another one up. Yeah, yeah wedge it. But sometimes the bees is sticking on, you see, and they just glue it, so you just have to break it. But remember, the, f the last one had some honey in it. I wonder if that's still like that. Oh, yeah. You only see the queen, eh? Take a picture just in case I can find the queen. And that just came up with it. I got good weight to it. Mm -hmm. Well, I am in, right? Yeah, you still do the weight. Yeah, you see, sir. See how the last 16 inch look. Let's check it on 16. See that. Oh. Oh. I was hoping to support the queen. So I tried to. But see, they get honey and they got nectar right beside it. See the honey across the top? That's because when they first started to build it. She, she basically filled out all them brood cells. It's just, just very, very healthy. You have to probably use the knife. They glue that down. The bees do that crazy glue. You notice like this one. See these rest one, these are the ones that top bar. They have nothing on the side. This one is like a frame. So you notice the frame in here is glued down. See, look from this way. So you can see. You see this here? This bee glue. So this frame is glued down, so you have to put the knife in there and sort of like push it through here. You feel it breaking it. Yeah, do it this side too. Just shake it loose a little bit. And let's see how it is. Now this one actually has a frame. So we just make sure, so now you, so now you set it back. And whenever we put them back, we just put them back in order. 
except that one where the honeycomb is so close. Mm -hmm. I want to give them a chance to space it so we can space that one out. Yeah, and just slide them back. Yeah, right about there, that's good. Because they're making these cones fat, 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 fat. So they got some ants there. But see, a healthy colony of bees can keep their hive clean. Now see how this one, how they build a double cone in there? So let's rotate this. Let's put like this nine. Let's put an empty one in there. Put that one in there. Yeah. And then we pull this one back. So hopefully those cones won't grow together no more. Yeah. Let me just put them back. Um, that's eight. Oh, this nine here. That was six I put over there. Okay, drop the nine in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's brush button for the cross my eyebrow. It's a little like one on my eyebrow. Oh, we got some more to put down. Some more there. We got to put back in. So push back. Um, yeah. Keep them in order like the two, three, and four. Push it back and then put five in. Set it down. Oh, you put your finger over there. There you go, Carlos. 